Today we celebrate the feast of Corpus Christi, the most holy body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the Eucharist. In the Eucharist, the priest takes the bread and he says, this is my body. Again, he takes the wine and he says, this is my blood. Then he genuflects and he says, the mystery of faith. The mystery of faith. This is a mystery. And only with faith we can understand this mystery. This is a mystery because it is the work of God, not any human being, but God's work is the Eucharist. Now let us uh, think about the Annunciation. The angel Gabriel came to the Virgin Mary and said, Mary, you will conceive a child with the power of the Holy Spirit. And with the power of the Holy Spirit, Son of God, who sits at the right hand of the Father, who is the Word of God, incarnate into a human body, with body and blood and soul and divinity in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, with the power of the Holy Spirit. Now let us look at the resurrection event. Jesus died on the cross. His body is taken to the tomb. The dead body of Jesus Christ is lying in the tomb. And on the resurrection day, early morning, with the power of the Holy Spirit, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ came back to the dead body and raised Jesus from the dead. The power of the Holy Spirit. And with the same power of the Holy Spirit, when the priest takes the bread and says, this is my body, the bread changes into the body of Christ with the power of the Holy Spirit. In the same way, when he takes the wine, and he says, this is my blood. The wine changes into the blood of Christ with the power of the Holy Spirit. And this is a mystery. No human being can do that. Only God can do this, and that is done with the power of the Holy Spirit on this altar. And with faith, we can understand this. If you don't have any faith, we will see only a piece of bread and a cup of wine. We can see the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Now, what happens on this altar when the priest says the words of institution, consecration, the bread and the wine changes into the body and blood. The substance of the bread changes into the body. The substance of the wine changes into the blood, whereas the appearance remains same. The appearance of the bread is same. It looks like a bread. It tastes like a bread. Everything is same as a bread. There is no change in the appearance, but the substance changes into the body of Christ. In the same way, the wine, the appearance remains, the taste remains, everything remains same, but the substance changes. This is the mystery. Now, I eat the body of Christ. What happens to me? 
When I eat the body of Christ, what happens to me? My substance changes into Christ. My appearance remains the same. When I eat the body of Christ, my appearance remains as it is, doesn't change. But I become like Christ. Christ living in us when I eat the body. He lives in us. He changes me into Christ. The best example is Mother Teresa. When she receives the body of Christ, she's completely changed. He works like a Jesus. He speaks like Jesus. He does everything like Jesus did. But his appearance is just a woman, a nun, Mother Teresa. This is the mystery. Dear brothers and sisters, we all eat the same, the same Eucharist, the same body of Christ we eat. Does it make any change in us? Are we remain the same? If I remain the same, that means there is some problem in me. What is that problem? The problem is my sins. When I receive the Eucharist, and if I have sins, I remain as I, not as Jesus Christ. If I have ego, if I have selfishness, if I have pride and eat the body of Christ, I remain as I am, not as Jesus Christ. This is the wrong thing that happens to us. So if I want to change myself, change my substance to Jesus Christ, I should be in grace. I should destroy my ego, selfishness, pride, and everything, and surrender to him. Then I will become like Jesus Christ. In the same way, when you receive the body of Christ, your substance is changed into Jesus Christ, and your body looks like you, can I recognize you as Jesus Christ? If I can't recognize you as Jesus Christ, then there is something wrong in me. Remember, the two of his, the disciples, after the resurrection, they went to Emmaus. They met Jesus Christ on the way. They were talking, but they did not recognize him. They were traveling for a long time, talking to each other, but they did not recognize him because we can recognize Jesus with the appearance after the resurrection. We can recognize Christ with the appearance. Mary Magdalene, on the day of resurrection, she met Jesus Christ in the garden. His appearance was like a gardener, not as Christ. So she spoke like a, as if she is speaking to a gardener, not to Christ. The appearance of the risen Christ is changed. We cannot recognize with the appearance. In the same way, Christ is living in this bread, and we can't understand, recognize him with the appearance. In the same way, Christ is living in you, and I can recognize him in the appearance. Christ doesn't have any appearance after the resurrection. He appears in various forms. He appears in the form of the bread. He appears in the form of your neighbor. He appears in the form of your brothers and sisters. We can recognize him because my sins, my ego, my pride blocks my vision, inner vision, to see Jesus Christ. So, dear brothers and sisters, the first thing we need to have 
a sinless soul, a heart without any sins. Do confession, confess your sins. A pure heart will help you to see God. The second thing, we need to increase our faith. If you don't have faith in Christ, if you don't have faith in the Eucharist, we will never recognize Jesus Christ. He lives today. He lives till the end of the world. He lives in our neighbors. He lives in our brothers and sisters. He lives in the bread. But we fail to recognize him because we have no faith. So every day I pray, Lord, increase my faith so that I may see you in the Eucharist. I may see you in my neighbors. I may see you in my brothers and sisters. Another thing, bring up a, a deeper relationship with the Eucharist. We need to have a, a deep relationship with the Eucharistic Lord. Always try to attend the Mass if possible, every day. Never miss a mass. Always try to spend some time with the Blessed Sacrament in the Eucharistic adoration. He wants to talk to you. He wants you to sit before him. If we have no time, we won't be able to recognize him. So, so spend some time before the Blessed Sacrament. Spend some time in the church. Remember, every Mass you attend is an asset for your eternal life. Every Mass you attend is an asset for your eternal life. So never miss a Mass. Remember, he wants to live in this world until the end of this world. He wants to live in our hearts until end of our life. And that is why he instituted the Blessed Sacrament. He wants to live with us, live in our hearts forever. He also wants to take all of us into the place where he is. So he said, those who eat my body and drink my blood will have eternal life. So the Eucharist is a food on the way to our eternal life. So never miss the Mass, never miss the Eucharist. We will die of hunger. And we, will we will never reach our destination. So let us increase our devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. Always respect him when, he, when we are in the presence of the Lord. In the church, when we receive the communion, when we take the communion outside, have a deep respect to him. Keep that respect. That will increase our faith in him. God bless you.